incredible people, and we're doing some really wonderful things, including the taxes are coming along and the health care is coming along. And we have Gary Cohn, the president of Goldman Sachs, who left Goldman Sachs on a slightly higher salary than he's getting right now by, like, hundreds of millions of dollars, like, by a lot. And get, where's Gary? He's around here someplace. And Gary's working on uh, some incredible plans, not only taxes, but we're going to be rebuilding our country. We're going to do things in terms of infrastructure that we need, our roads, our highways, our bridges our schools, our airports. We spent, as of a few months ago, six trillion, trillion dollars in the Middle East. We have nothing. We're back further than we were 16 years ago when this whole thing started. Six trillion dollars. And if you want to spend three and a half dollars to build a school, or you want to build, you want to spend any money in this country, it's like a big deal. But we spent $6 trillion in the Middle East. And uh, we're going to get that whole situation under control. That's not an easy one. I was dealt a very difficult hand, believe me, when I took over. Between North Korea, the Middle East, you look at Afghanistan, what's going on there. This was a tough hand. But you put me there for a reason, and I think you're going to be very happy with the end result, believe me. American farmers and ranchers are the best, absolute best, at what they do. And they can compete anywhere if they're given a level playing field. They're not given that level playing field because of our terrible, terrible trade deals. And we're going to start doing much better. You produce the product, but you have to work too hard and too long to make a living. We're cracking down on foreign trading abuses, making it easier to produce and grow in America, eliminating job-killing regulations all over the place. And we're training our great American workers. That's why it's so important to support schools like Kirkwood, which are helping to train young people in cutting-edge new technologies that will make American agriculture greater and more productive than ever before. Farming, which is something that is very beautiful to me. I'm not a farmer, but I'd be very happy to be one. It's a very beautiful world to me. And it's a truly noble American profession. Today, we're celebrating the dignity of work and the greatness of the American farmer and the American worker. George Washington once wrote, I'd rather be on my farm than be emperor of the world. We understand that. Especially after I spend all this time in Washington, I can really understand. <laughs> I want to make sure the next generation of Americans has that opportunity as well. And in particular, that includes your children, and your grandchildren, and working very hard to get rid of the death tax so that those farms can be passed on. Very, very hard to get rid of that. We're working very hard so your farms can be passed on to your children and your grandchildren, and they'll keep them going, and they'll run them with love. We want to eliminate the intrusive rules that undermine your ability to earn a living. And we will protect the corn-based ethanol and biofuels that power our country. And you remember during the campaign, I made that promise. And I also made a promise, I'm coming back. And here I am, and that promise has been kept. And even Terry's clapping about that, that one, but he was fighting very hard for that, believe me. For the past two weeks, my administration has been working extensively on vocational education, infrastructure, and technology. 
Here at this great facility, we've just seen fantastic examples of how vocational training in new technologies can help make American farming even more productive so we can compete and win, win, win on the world stage. We saw how today's farmers can adjust application rates of fertilizers in their fields with just the touch of a smartphone. It's changed a lot over the years. They showed us how they use precision agriculture to produce crops more efficiently and for far less cost. They've demonstrated how drones, of all things, are used to gather data on crops and how simulators are used to train students in the next generation of farming equipment. If we continue to train our workers in these new technologies, then we will usher in a new era of prosperity for American agriculture and for the American farming family. We must also ensure that these students have the broadband internet access they need in order to succeed and thrive in this new and very modern and very changed economy and world. That is why I will be including a provision in our infrastructure proposal, $1 trillion proposal. You'll be seeing it very shortly. To promote and foster enhanced broadband access for rural America also. We know that Wall Street wants it very badly, but you know what else? The farmers also want it, and you're going to have it. We have to make sure American farmers and their families, wherever they may be, wherever they may go, have the infrastructure projects that they need to compete and grow. And I mean grow against world competition, because that's who you're up against now. We will rebuild rural America. American farmers, thank you. American farmers pour their hearts into their crops and their love into their great communities. That's why they call this the heartland. And those maps, those electoral maps, they were all red, beautiful red. Beautiful. You look at those maps, it's almost like, wow. A lot of places that people weren't thinking about turned red. A couple of little blue dots on the sides. But they are red farmers. And our farmers' work ethic feeds America, and their toughness and grit define America. They're tough and they're smart. Our rich and abundant soil provides more than a living. It provides a beautiful way of life for a lot of people. Today, we honor and treasure this noble history and embrace the new technology that will power this industry well into the future. With incredible leaders and students like all of you, I know that the future of American farming has never looked brighter. Believe me, and with me as your president, it's going to be that way. I will tell you that. So it's a great honor to be here with you today. People that I know, people that I love, very special people. The people of Iowa that were so good to me during the election. So many friends. I want to thank you for being here. God bless you. And God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you.